Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to reorder data frame rows and columns randomly. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with the lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of our studio a new data frame object appears and we can also print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line four of the code and then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data frame contains two columns and 10 rows, whereby the first column is containing a numeric range from one to 10, and the second column X2 is containing letters in alphabetic order. So let's assume that we want to shuffle the rows of this data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines six to nine. So in line six of the code, I'm first setting a seed for reproducibility. And then in line eight of the code, I'm using the sample function. And within the sample function, I'm specifying that I want to sample between the numbers one to the number of rows of our data. And then I'm using the output of the sample function to subset our data. And then I'm storing this whole output in a new data frame object, which is called data row. So if you run line eight of the code, you can see that at the top right of our studio, a new data frame object appears. And we can have a look at this data frame by running line nine of the code. And now you can see that the values of our returning data frame are the same, but the ordering of the rows is different, or in other words, the ordering of the rows is randomly shuffled. In the next example of this video, I want to show you how to randomly reorder the columns of your data frame. And again, I'm first setting a seed for reproducibility. And then I'm again specifying the sample function, but this time I'm applying the sample function to a range from one to the number of columns of our data frame. And then I'm again subsetting our data so that the columns are randomly shuffled and I'm storing the output of this in a new data frame object, which is called data call. So if you run line 13 of the code, you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right, which is called data call. And we can have a look at this data by running line 14 of the code. And now you can see that our two columns X2 and X1 are exchanged. So in this video, you have learned how to randomly reorder the rows and the columns of a data frame in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.